Hello, I'm Helen White from Georgia, and I'm starting a new project today. I'm going to make a bird bath, and I'm using this uh, little container here that is kind of oval. I'm going to put sand over it, and I'm going to put my leaves on it, and guess what? I'm using collard leaves. That's what is growing in my backyard, and there's no leaves anywhere because it's, it's uh, February and and there's no leaves anywhere that's suitable for, for me so the collar leaves are not real big but they're that I think they'll do I may have to use several of them to put on here but I think they'll look good so I that's what I'm gonna try and I'm gonna take you around there now and show you uh, the collar leaves that I'm gonna use in my backyard this is my collar leaves that I have growing in a container and I have plenty of leaves collar leaves so I'm gonna pick some and and that's what I'm gonna use for my bird bath I'm gonna pick some and cook them they're ready to eat so, I'm going to set my camera down here, and I'm going to go over there and pick some. See, they have good veins and stuff in them, so that's what I'm going to use on my bird bath. I think this should be enough. Okay, that's it. thing I'm going to do is put my sand over, over my mold. I went ahead and wet my sand because it has to be damp to stick where you put it. When it's pretty weather, I can't wait to get out and do some projects outside. That's a hawk. He doesn't. My birds don't like hawks. Because that hawk catches them and kills them and eats them, I guess. They don't come out when, when that hawk is around. have to use anything up under there if you have enough sand but it doesn't take as much sand when you've got a form up, up under there make sure you pack it down where it'll sit level You 
put your plastic over your soil and you take your leaves and you place them the way you want them and you take off this big stem I'll fix them uh, a little better whenever I get the cement mixed up. Okay, put your water in. Oh, I love this day. It is so beautiful and warm. Okay, I think I've got it mixed up about just right. I'll start. Gonna let it dry and see how how it turns out. Hello, I'm Helen White and I'm from Georgia and I'm out here today gonna open this bird bath that I made a few days ago and see how it turns out. And I'm thinking it, I put sand on under it and collard leaves. <laughs> Of all things, collard leaves, but that's what I had. I didn't have any other leaves because it's winter and there's nothing on the trees that's the leaves that I needed, so that's what I used. So I'm going to take it off of this mold now, hopefully, and see how it turns out. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video and have a blessed day. This is a little tricky part because it could break.
gracious. There it is. Let's see if I can. Oh, that done great. Cotter leaves. I know ain't nobody's ever heard of this before. There's the leaves. It's coming out. And they're coming out good, too. I have had them. That they didn't want to come out too easy. If you don't have a leaf or something, you can go to the grocery store and get uh, collard leaves. I got these off of my tree, my uh, little stalks in the backyard that I have back there. It won't be any trouble to get the rest of these leaves off because... I, I got a little pointy thing that I can kind of scratch it off with. I don't have it, have it out here right now, but... And you can see the leaf design of the collard. And all you got to do is, if, if the edges is not smooth as you like, you can just take a scraper and go around it and scrape off the little parts that you don't like. <laughs> I'm making something. I'm making a bird bath. And I made it with collard leaves. You see the leaves on it? The design of the leaves. I put it on YouTube. You need to watch it. this little piece of stuff that's sticking off right here all you got to do is take a chisel and kind of round it off it's not supposed to be smooth off just uh get all your leaves off but they'll come out when they get a little dry Happy with it. Done good. I think I'm going to paint it. But I'm not going to do it today because it's, it's not completely dry. I'm going to let it dry a day or so. And, and then I'll paint it. And So if you want a bird bath and and you need a leaf, just go to the grocery store and buy you a bunch of collards and lay your leaves on here. You'll have a beautiful collard bird bath. And that's a beautiful one too. So thank y'all for watching this video. And subscribe if you would like to.
Thank you. Good morning. I'm Helen White, and I'm out here today going to paint this bird bath that I made out of collard leaves and uh, half a tooth of mixture. And it turned out great to me. I think it's beautiful. You can see all the leaves, designs in it. And I'm going to paint it. So I'm going to get started now. And I put it in here where you can kind of see what I'm doing. Yes, I'm going to stop. It's trying to rain. <laughs> <laughs> 